And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Exhibit A as to why I live in a landlocked state. Because even if the sharks learn how to get on land and walk a little bit, it's going to take them a while to reach them. The Shallows stars Blake Lively as a surfer who finds a secluded beach and ends up facing more than she bargained for when a very aggressive shark interrupts her time. It is tense, it is suspense, it is survival, but is it good? Here's five things you might want to know about The Shallows. One of the things I love about being a movie critic or reviewer is when a movie surprises me. Man, I liked this movie, and I was not necessarily expecting anything big out of this, and I had a good time. Let's start with this. One of the reasons. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I don't just mean Blake Lively, although she is beautiful as well. I mean the way this movie is shot. The way the ocean scenes, the, the high from above, you know, the cinematography in this is absolutely stunning. Not only that, but it's kind of a combination of like nature documentary with the way it moves through the water and the way that it sees this landscape and also music video with the way that it, you know, shoots the surfing scenes and the shark stuff. So it's really interesting to see that kind of combination interwoven and to do that with this level of skill. That's pretty impressive. The other part of the visuals that I wanted to bring special attention to, uh, so we'll do this for number two, are the way that it visualizes our technology. Whether that be, you know, live streaming a video call with somebody or texting or pictures we're looking at. The way it puts that stuff on the screen for us here is really inventive and clever. And I don't know if I've seen it done this way before. I, I would mention maybe Sherlock, the BBC Sherlock, does a little bit of this. But this kind of takes it to a whole new level. And I really enjoyed that. Uh, also, because of that, it uses found footage in a really interesting and great way. I've been saying for so long that you can make a found footage movie without it having to be all found footage. This is kind of one of those movies because it uses GoPros and you know cell phones and those kind of things. It uses the found footage part of it for a tool to better emphasize a certain part of the story instead of making it a gimmick where everything has to fit into it. I loved that here and I thought it was done very, very well. I can't believe we've gotten this far into the review and I haven't even mentioned Blake Lively's performance. It's really good. I was really impressed. Every bit of her emotion rung true to me. I was with her this entire movie, which is a key part to why a suspense movie like this can work. The fear in her eyes, the horror, the disgust, it was haunting to see her as she's witnessing things that are happening off screen and you just buy how awful it is by her performance. Um, she's really good in this. And if this movie works for you, I can guarantee you one of the reasons is because you've bought into who she is as a character. Now, after saying all that, uh, let me back off a little bit and give a little bit of a caution. This is intense stuff here. If you remember the movie 127 Hours, that kind of intense. This, in addition to being a shark movie, is also a survival movie. And there's a lot going on here that I would say if you are squeamish, uh, if you get nervous and upset by scary situations, this is going to be a rough go for you because the tension and the trauma in this movie feels absolutely real from beginning to end. And that's an hour and a half of tension that if you don't want it in your life, you may not want to step foot in the theater. The only thing I really didn't like about this movie, and it affects a, a fairly large chunk of the movie, is it gets a little ridiculous, especially when considering the shark and the shark's motivations and what the shark chooses to do. The anthropomorphism 
of that is a little extreme for me. And there's some other issues with logic and those kind of things in this movie that will take you out for a second. But what this movie has going for it in those moments is it's right back to the tension and you know what's gonna happen next and you're rooting for this character so much that you let that stuff go pretty quickly. But there will be some eye rolling moments, especially as you kind of consider the shark in this. Mm -hmm. Overall, I feel like The Shadow, the Shallows was a movie I wasn't expecting to be much, but came out of really enjoying in a Hitchcockian, you know, survival movie kind of way. Uh, I would give it a very solid B. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. We'll get to the best ever challenge here in a bit. Before we get there though, if you wanna check out more about what goes on here, you can click the info button right up here some other reviews there that you might want to check out. Uh, you can go to the website, you can support the channel, all that stuff is there. Uh, if you want to hang out and chat, make kind of two-way communication. Uh, I love hanging out on all the social medias. Uh, Twitter is a great place to connect. Periscope is a lot of fun. Sometimes I'll Periscope reviews. Uh, Facebook, Facebook Live, that kind of stuff. Uh, as well as Snapchat. I've been doing a little bit of Snapchat stories recently as well. And if you do a podcast thing, by the way, subscribe to Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. Uh, search for that in your podcast player and you should be able to find our weekly pop culture podcast. We have a lot of fun, different guests on every week. Uh, have a good time with that. All right, on to the best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. Well, let's make it an easy category this week. What's your favorite shark movie ever? Let's say movie featuring sharks. Because shark movie seems like the whole movie, like a shark would have to be on the poster. Not necessarily, just a movie featuring shark. Um, mine's pretty easy even if I do consider fish to be both friends and food. Take a guess at mine in the comments and leave your choice there as well. And as always, here's five extra seconds to hit the subscribe button. Just click the logo right down in this corner.